That's, yeah, you have you have an opportunity to move the asset somewhere else. If you were laid off or retired or terminated, whatever the case may be for that separation as well, that is an opportunity to move that money elsewhere. Now, one of the things to be clear on, if you, for whatever reason, you're separated from that company, it shut down, and you're going to work elsewhere, and they have a company plan, you can move that 401k to that new company plan is, is one of the options that you have. The other would be seriously to consider is rolling it over to an IRA. Out, a qualified plan is an IRA. Your 401k is a qualified plan, so it's a non-taxable event to move it from the 401k to an IRA. We, I had somebody mention that um, in our team meetings this morning, somebody's coming in uh, regarding they had cashed out their 401k, and it, before you go and do that, and 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 that might that that isn't the way to roll it over. That's a taxable event. You say, "Oh, just send me the money out the four hundred one k." That is a taxable event. Plus, they're required to withhold twenty percent from from that money. And if your intention is to move that money to another account and put it to work, you want to do a rollover IRA, and it's it's really simple. Super simple to do. An IRA is a tax qualification. It's not an investment. It's what you, and you can have investments inside of that IRA. You have a lot of choices. One reason to roll it over away from the 401k to an IRA is you, you really have a tremendous amount of choices. You, you've got ETFs, stocks, REITs, uh, annuities. So many things that you can do and and probably have it more styled to what you think about risk or more so think about how conservative you are. All right. So when. Well, you need an account set up with a financial firm. Uh, we set up IRAs for people every, every day so to speak. It, it, it's kind of the normal occurrence. Doing 401k rollovers is a normal occurrence, but you, you, there's a few things to consider that we look out for. If you're holding company stock, there's net unrealized appreciation opportunity. That's where you could separate for uh, what you paid for that stock back in the day, so to speak, a low, low price. You could just pay the tax on that purchase price and move that stock outside of the company plan. Another thing to consider is do you have after-tax dollars accumulated in that 401k? When you do the rollover, you want to separate that money outside of the plan. Are you wanting the stock you're holding inside, say that company stock, to go over intact in, into the IRA? So those are a few of the things you need to kind of think about when you're looking to do a rollover, and you probably should use somebody that really understands the rollover process. How do I get that money into a Roth? Can I roll over that 401k into the Roth world? If you're rolling over traditional money and you, you can roll it over into a Roth, that will be a taxable event. Now, if you have Roth money in your 401k, you can roll it over to a Roth IRA. Even if you have after-tax dollars in that plan, that could get moved over into a Roth account. But we always make sure that money is separated outside of the plan after-tax dollars. But you, you have a couple of things you can do with that. Typically, it helps clients shore up their emergency money in that case. What are the advantages to rolling over into IRA and then just wait until you get another job and rolling that into your new 401k? You could do that as well. That is an option because you don't have to move that money out the old 401k in most cases. Some plans will want you to do that. Some plans, this might be happening because they're shutting down the plan. You know, if like that steel company closing, well, I'd pretty much say that plan's being shut down as well that 401k plan's not going to continue so you're going to need to go and do something with that money and and that's why you probably should sit down and talk with a fiduciary you i'm biased you should sit down and talk with our team 
you know, that daytime job I have. Talk about the lesser known rule for the people who, uh, who got separated from their job after age 55. The 55 age exception, which we're t- talking about that, because then we're talking also about somebody that's not 59 and a half. If they're needing to take income, and they're not 59 and a half, they're going to pay a 10% early withdrawal penalty if that money's coming out of an IRA. But if that money is in a 401k and you were separated from that job once you're age 55 or older, you will not have a 10% early withdrawal penalty. So that might be a reason to leave that money in that 401k or some of it, depending on upon the rules of the plan, whether or not you can leave some there in that case. Those that the company's closing and the plan's obviously going to shut down, that's kind of a tough situation for those as well there.